we know that in the past few weeks, Hong Kong has already seen around uh, 2,000 uh, uh, new confirmed cases, and this is posing a huge burden and threat to the city. Uh, but the medical capacity has already been pushed to kind of the limit and the edge, and the hospitals are short of hands in detection and health care. Some confirmed cases are still waiting for the uh, admission of uh, admission to the hospital. Um, so under such situation, um, the opening of the temporary cabin hospital and the expert team uh, sent from mainland to Hong Kong can immediately relieve uh, such pressure. Uh, most importantly, the experience uh, in handling uh, the outbreak situation. Uh, for example, in the past few months, we have already seen how the Chinese government successfully controlled the COVID-19 in Wuhan and also uh, how to deal with the new outbreak in Beijing, in uh, the northeast uh, 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 China, and other cities. So I think with this kind of expertise and experience, and even some material provided uh, by the mainland, uh, Hong Kong should have a much better chance uh, to face this disease uh, outbreak situation.